Hello everybody, welcome. It's me John, aka Nulzy, and I'm here for a brand new Transformers review. Today's review is actually on a G1 figure today, and I'm going to be doing a review on G1 Crankcase. And here we have it. Here is Crankcase in his glory, if you can even call it that. He's a very interesting figure. Uh, as you can see, he is a kind of 4x4. I believe he's in the sub-genre of the Trugacons, and that was a sub-genre through the G1 continuity of toys. As you can see, mine has seen better days. Um, I need to see about getting some new stickers for this guy. This is literally, I've had him literally for quite a while, quite a number of years, and he's literally just been on my shelf. And... Um, this is pretty much as he came. It was an eBay purchase at the time. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> the, the mechanism for his weapons still works okay. Um, he rolls. Yeah, so that's a pretty nice roll. Slight squeak from those wheels. But, you know, he's an old boy. And, uh, yeah, he's a, he's a nice he's a nice figure, really. You know, this mode is okay. Um, it is something to be desired, I suppose. I mean, it would be nicer if these stickers were nicer, but unfortunately, you know, due to its age of a figure, they have both faded, and, and as you can see, some slight damage to that one there. Um, but I'm going to see about, maybe see if I can get some new, you know, get some new ones for it so it makes it look a bit nicer so have a look see underneath as you can see it is pretty much just the robot as you can see it's just the robot um the chest area here uh, the arms are on the side as you can see there it's a relatively quite a simple figure um it's not probably one of the best but i do have a soft spot for these little guys um even though they are something to be desired in both robot mode and all that but you know they are kind of a simple thing and there was all sorts of weird side genres you know side sub genres with it like crews and different teams and everything in g1 continuity um that they released as toys and then were in the comics and I think some of them made their way to the TV series but I don't think everything did um but yeah so this is the alt mode so to transform this guy well actually before I do get into that I'll show you his this little gimmick you press this little button here those weapons come out and he says kind of got like a little attack mode while he's in alt mode they just go straight back. They don't go completely flush as you can see. But it still works. So then to transform crankcase to robot mode. Uh, it is a very simple thing. You just sort of extend the legs. And twist this whole cabin section over. And then you just simply... I don't know if there's meant to be like a mechanism or if you just simply just have to get your nail in there. Um, but mine doesn't seem to trigger. Um, there is a slight, as you as you go like this with this cabin bit, it feels like there is something there to maybe kind of trigger the head. But mine doesn't seem to want to do it if there is anything like that. But, um, but no, so for the, for the sake of the review, let's get your nail in there, pull the head up. And there he is. There is Crankcase, all in his glory. Well, sort of glory. So I've brought him up on the table here because he won't stand on the floor very well. So, yeah, on a steady surface he does stand okay. Um, but, yeah, as you can see, it is something to be desired, this alt mod. Uh, sorry, robot mod, should I say. You know, he's, he's okay to a degree. So have a quick look at the uh, head sculpt there. It, you know, it's as as you can come to understand with a figure of its age. Um, you know, so it's a it's a decent transformer though for a G one toy. 
to a degree. There is some kind of playability factor there. Um, you know, as the legs just kind of just collapse in on themselves uh, to, you know, to, for the transformation, they just pull down. But you do have, you know, these arms are articulated to a degree. So they can come out like this. So they are kind of articulated, but they are just a complete, just molded plastic. But no, yeah, it you know, and as you can see as well, the stickers, the stickers actually on the chest there seem to have kind of fared a bit better. On here as well, they seem to have kind of like feared a bit better. You know, they seem to have done a bit better compared to the ones on the outside. Also, as you can see with the weapons that was in these weapons on the back here, if you press them, man gets stuck because obviously this is kind of like this is one way, and uh, like, so like in, in alt mode, in the alt mode, it is more like kind of like a battle mode. But then, if you bring them a bit more further down, they just rest on either side of his. Uh, shoulders which is pretty cool but yeah i mean as when it comes to these sub genres it's probably not the worst figure um it's probably not one of the worst figures but it's also not one of the best but i can see there is some playability factor with this little guy um he has a pretty you know i like the, the transformation on him is actually not too bad at least he does have slight articulation in the arms, but of course nothing in the legs because it's just fully just a, a moulded piece. Um, but no, he's a cool little guy, really. I do like him. So there we have it. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the review. I shall be back with more reviews very, very soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye for now.